feel the torment within you, the pain. So conflicted. Don't worry, dear. I am here for you. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are. All you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side. Freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up. <gasps> get used to that. I don't freaking believe this. Wanda falls and everyone's like, oh freaking well, she was kind of messed up anyway, move on. But their golden boy banner betrays them and they all fall apart. Why are you acting surprised, Nico? The Avengers only care about themselves and their own. They make it clear what and who they think is a priority. We are not. They see us sons as dispensable misfits, to be discarded or sacrificed if we do not prove our use. Yeah, I get that vibe sometimes too. Yeah, well it's a vibe I'm not okay with. This double standard crap is not cool and I've reached my limit dealing with it. so close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. Told you Retro were more hardcore than the ones they come out with today. Yeah, but isn't there such thing as too hard? I mean, if you came out with this game today, everyone would totally rage quit and roast it online. Let them rage. I like a challenge, you know? That satisfaction at beating a nearly impossible game is just, well, Satisfying. Keyword there is impossible, dude. I mean, this game was made before you were born, and I don't think anyone has actually beaten it. Probably not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Besides, it's a better use of my time than arguing about Abby politics. Not gonna argue with you there. Hey, so can I have a turn? Why don't we ask Hunter if they want to play a game? That's a generous idea, dude. What's up, Hunter? Mind if I join you? Please do. Peter, were you raised in New York City? Yeah, in Queens. 
Also home to more villains than I care to count. Why are there so many villains and queens? I have no idea. I never really thought about it. Perhaps they want to get up close and personal with Spider-Man. What? No, that's... No, uh, look, I do not have spider pheromones. That's not even a thing. Then perhaps it is your charming personality. Ah, Cap's got me beat there. Unless you're saying I'm more accessible? Or your impressive abs. I'm gonna stop you before this turns into fanfic. I get enough of that from a friend in Jersey City. You're pretty cool, Hunter. We do fun stuff. Hunter. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanna thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on. You see the double standard too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? Banner was an Avenger, one of their own. They lost a brother. Surely you can empathize with that. Not if they're not going to empathize with us first. Wanda's a midnight sun. Our lives should matter just as much as theirs freaking do. You know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious Banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. How are you, Carol? Better than Tony. Poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I would not have hesitated to have taken that shot at Banner. Easy for you to say. He wasn't your friend. You didn't really know him. It would not have mattered. We cannot let our friendships become liabilities. Woof. Remind me not to make room for you at my table in the cafeteria. Table? Cafeteria? Never mind, Hunter. It's a joke for people who actually have friends. Speaking of... I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. Hunter, just in time for the meeting of weirdos. There's you, me, and a unicorn if we can find a third. Hope the rest of your fan club won't mind. What makes me weird? <laughs> I forgot you aren't as self-aware as I am. 
You talk like you're an ancient artifact, you're older than the geezers who created us, and you've got some deep-rooted mommy issues. Should I keep going? I charge by the hour. I did not expect to be asked such a question. If there's one thing you can expect from me, it's a train wreck. That's all part of the bit, baby. It sounds... Chaotic? I know. Just thinking about it gives me the tingles. What will the sons think? I live for the drama. Are you not concerned about fitting in? What is this, high school? Are you scared of getting a swirly in the bathroom? I do not know what a swirly is. Oh, don't worry. I'll show you later. Besides, I'm more interested in your answer. Fitting in, yay or nay? There is nothing wrong with wanting to fit in. Not to sound like your guidance counselor, but it's also boring. The Midnight Suns are all distinguished and strong in their own way. I would like to be the same. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Well, at least you know what you want. Listen, all I'm saying is that I'm not the only one who likes your whole shtick, so keep it up. Ooh, a magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. It's nearly time! Head to the party, wait with the others, I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in, and then the party is on! I will head there now. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. What fresh hell is this? <laughs> it's a surprise party! Happy birthday! <sighs> Wonderful. Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, uh, Tony! What do you get the Queen of Limbo? Uh, if he doesn't know, how was I supposed to guess? Just me, or is Magic not having a good time? I heard Magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay, I'll be right there. I haven't been to a surprise party in years. Who was it for? Uh, my dad. Best to drop it. Nah, Peter's cool. What did I say? Dad is, um, he passed. I'm so sorry. It's okay, good memories, but they can sting, you know? I know it all too well. You too? Oh, it sucks, man. Don't take this the wrong way, but you two are bringing down the party. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Okay, it's, it's not the night for family drama. Night's still young. What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. Hmm. What concerns you? What? You do a, a thing when you're concerned. Stephen, I don't do a thing. You just did. I heard you. I spent untold centuries identifying and removing all my tells in battle and conversation. If I did a thing, it wouldn't be so obvious. 
As you say. Huh. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps them feel at home. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. And birthdays are better with people who know you. I'm coming around to it. Not that I plan to invent a worldwide crisis next year to have a cozy birthday party. Although... No, I shouldn't. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah, we've been busy. We see far too much of each other. And yet, nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but... I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. Don't ask to see what's under the mask. I'll blind you with my good looks. Ooh, is this the kind of party where someone pops out of the cake? I did not know such a thing existed. Sure! Gotta hire the talent after the cake is baked, though. Learned that the hard way. It's hard fighting the urge to say something corny yet uplifting before battle. Manhattan really comes alive at night. As do I. Hmm. Why is everyone gathering in the common room? We are throwing magic a surprise party. Did you get the invite? No. No, I... I did not. I'm sure it was an oversight. You are welcome to stay. 
Fantastic. I've always wanted to attend a surprise party. Should I change into a more formal gown? No, I suppose there is no time for that. I must mingle. Magic is not very fond of surprises. Nico thinks this is a good idea. While I'm sure Nico's intentions are pure, we should think about what the birthday girl actually wants. Sure, Captain Marvel can blast that dude with her eyes, but I can bat my eyelashes and make them run away. What? Are you all right? I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the magic wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? Always wanted to do that. Do what? Smash a birthday cake so hard it explodes. Why would you want to do that? I have complicated feelings about my birthday. So why haven't you? Smash a cake someone made for me? That's just rude. You could bake your own cake. Doesn't have the same appeal. Carol. Steve. For your next birthday, I'm baking you a cake. Do go on. You have my blessing to smash it into space. But then we're down a birthday cake. I'll bake two. Second one's for eating. <laughs> and that's why you're Captain America. Captain America. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on Tony's face. Or the icing, if I can aim it right. Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this? You are right to blame yourself. It was selfish of you to spring this on her. I know. I'm an awful friend. There has to be a way to make this better. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although, maybe you could? This is your mess. You clean it up. Without magic, we have no way to fight Lilith. And I can't talk to her when she's angry. Limbo itself might see me as a threat. What about me? You won't be in danger. She likes you, in her own way. Fine. I will do this. How does it work? The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's all right? That's all I care about. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. The landscapes might be trippier than usual. What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. So, uh, cool party? <laughs> Perfect delivery. <laughs> I needed that. Really? I felt awkward and didn't know what to say. But you said it anyway. Yeah, I'll shut up now. No, it was funny. 
<laughs> you didn't laugh. I did, on the inside. Do you always laugh on the inside? Unless I'm killing vampires. At least we didn't take her to a restaurant where they sing to her. The secondhand cringe would have been too much. How would you approach this? What, going into limbo? How about, don't get lost? Thank you for your insight. Okay, bye. Oh, bring me a souvenir. Something demony. What are you still doing here? Shouldn't you be in HE double hockey sticks? So is this a normal thing with her, or...? Mr. Stark. Uh, Ms. Caretaker? Ma'am? I would appreciate you not making light of the situation. Oh, that's kind of my thing. For the love of... But that's not what I was doing. Uh, go on. I understand the irony of an Avenger... Okay, of me personally saying this aloud, but this is no time for teammates to fight one another. What do you propose? A scapegoat. If magic needs to focus her anger on anyone, I can be... An asshole? Uh -huh. I was going to say myself turned up to 11, but that works. A gracious offer, but Ileana would never take the bait. Well, I can be some pretty obnoxious bait. Have you seen me crash award shows? You pale in comparison to the one she truly hates. And who is that? Her business to share. <sighs> Poor kid. You don't know the half of it. I never doubted this outcome. I see it is a good thing that I did not bother changing into formal attire for this. Yes. Any advice on how I should bring magic back? Why bother? She clearly didn't want this party. And now she wants to be alone. I can respect that. Maybe she could use a friend. Yes, of course. But where will you find a friend for magic? <laughs> Kidding, of course. Don't tell her I said that. I think I got a small piece of cake in my mouth when it exploded, so it wasn't a complete waste. We should be thankful she only destroyed the cake. <sighs> you were right after all. That's not important. What matters now is that you go and make things right. Any advice? Just listen to her. That's what I do. To limbo, then. I caution you, this shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the wild cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it, especially if someone or something encourages you to do so. And, uh... Bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes, I think so. Hmm. Well, good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. Are you really going to chase the birthday girl through a hellish dimension she completely controls? Without her, we cannot run missions. Oh, I get it. That's why I never upset my helicopter pilot. Especially since I designed it. 
The pilot, I mean. It's a, it's a robot. Hey, if you take too long, I call dibs on your cake. If we can scavenge them off the ceiling. That went exactly the way I expected. I need to speak with magic. Any advice? Woman is not hard to figure out if you pay attention. She does not say much. Makes it easier to listen. Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? It is all your fault. Really? She called you a Russian word. Sounded like try hard? That's not Russian. I knew I needed to ease back. I just don't want to be another unexpected roommate for the Midnight Suns. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? All right. Send to me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Wish I'd picked up on Magic's mood before she unloaded on Nico. Sometimes I can tell when she's getting upset. Talk her down, you know? Do you have any advice? Just be there for her. That goes a long way with Magic. And I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me, why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I ought to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child, I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. A house in limbo. What is this place? doing here it is not possible to enter limbo without my knowing how did you get here Nico used the staff of one of course and why did she not come herself I cannot speak for Nico that is a question for her I don't need to know tonight but she will answer for this wait if you found your way to this place, what did you hear? Just another path through Limbo. It is kind to pretend you heard nothing, but I relive my deepest shame whenever I come here. Limbo does not let me forget. The creature you heard brought me here, but my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. 
I want to know who did this to you. I did this to myself. The creature held no power over me until I allowed it. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. There is still a party going on. We can always go back. You can, but I should not. Don't worry. I will return in the morning. We could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. This is a diamond in the rough. Maybe. But to someone, it was trash. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times when I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now, but not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <clears throat> Good. A thoughtful gift. How unanticipated. to like you, Hunter. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can't say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction, of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she mad at me? She is still angry, but mostly at herself. Why? This was all my fault. I guess I'll talk to her tomorrow. She is coming back, right? She will be back tomorrow. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter.
Good night, Nico.